Hello, today we have 5th generation iPod touch and we will change the glass on it. Put device in separator, head it up to 90 centigrades. And then stick adhesive tape over the screen to keep all glass pieces together. Now let's remove the glass, but we will do it without removing the frame, so soft aluminium housing will not be damaged. Glass is removed, now we can remove the frame, and without glass it is removed very easily. Unscrew all screws. Unglue home button cable. Remove that metal protection. Put it away. Disconnect camera from the front frame. Now unscrew screws which attach the board, because connectors are placed under it. To do it remove glued cable and then lift up board and disconnect all connectors. Now display model is disconnected, we can continue. Remove frame. Here in the frame there is a little metallic plate which can damage display, so you should be careful. Fix display on separator. I have vacuum one and I'm very satisfied. Cut glass with wire. So the glass had been cut. Now clean most of glue with metal scraper to make it easier to cut the polarizer. You may not clean off the glue, but I like it this way. Now I'll cut the polarizer.
it is difficult to remove on this device. Maybe I've got difficult copy, but it is much harder than with iPhone 5, 5S or even 6. I leave one millimeter uncut to avoid damaging of loops and tear it away. Then it has to be soaked with alcohol to make glue softer and clean that glue off. Now wipe it with alcohol to make it totally clean. Let's check the display. If it's not damaged, as you can see with polarizer, it gives picture. Sensor also works. Fix display to Textolite with adhesive type. It's a cheap way of gluing polarizer and OCA film. I hope that in the next video I will have a special laminating machine for such kind of gluing. Fix polarizer. Make a little handle for it with adhesive. Once more carefully and completely wipe display. It's very important on this stage, because any speck of dust in the end will look like a broken pixel. Remove protective layers, glue polarizer with roller. Carefully cut corner of polarizer protective layer like this, and using collective glue or lacquer, uh, recover metallic coating with, that withdraws static electricity from the display. I'm not sure if you see it clear, but it has to be done like before repairment. Now fix OCA film. Remove protective layers of OCA and polarizer films. Remove second protective layer of OCA film and glue it using roller. Press it hard. Put this model into the mode. It's the same as for iPhone 5 or 5S. Remove protective layer of OCA film and put the glass over it. In iPod it's not like in iPhone as soon as there is no speaker hole. Gently press it in the middle and put into a vacuum laminator. Put it in. Run and wait 5 minutes. Now display is ready, no bubbles, everything is perfectly from the first time. Let's check it, everything is working fine. Here it is. So we can assemble this device. Put back home button and now we will stick the frame using E8000 glue.
Okay, now we can it finally assemble. I will not detail all the process, there is nothing complicated. They just put everything in place, screw in all screws and that's all. Okay, now connect housing with latches like this. Repair is finished, everything works fine, no marks of repairing device. Thank you for your attention, watch my videos, goodbye. And one more detail, use pins like this so the glue will dry well.